to Learn Live Broadcasting here at Gatwick Airport. My name is Lucia Daughtry and I work for the Airfield Support Team. I've been so lucky to work at Gatwick Airport for the past 14 years, um, starting as cabin crew, then on to check-in, then a very long stint on security where I gained lots of experience and managed to be able to come into this role, which is the best role for me at the airport as the the uh, Gatwick Airport and one of the luckiest things that I can do is drive these big snow clouds in the winter time but I can drive them all year round and um, they're very they're massive for little old me they're very good they do the job and yeah so in a few moments soon you'll be talking to my three colleagues and getting to know their roles and what they do at the airport um, if you have any questions, start thinking about anything you want to say or want to know, uh, especially in my role or my colleagues' roles. Just have a little think and you're going to be watching a video at the moment of Gatwick Airport. Um, so I'll see you soon and yeah, I'm going to go and drive and show you my uh, big snowplow. If you'd like to come with me, I'm going to take you around the back. You can see by the pure size of it, where I stand next to it, how big it really is. Massive. So this is the fun part for me, driving all the big vehicles. And she's very long as well. So these are called overarsons. Back round the front. Do it all again, but 
I've only been doing airfield support for a year and a half and it's the best job I have. It's nice working outside, nice working, we've got different vehicles and every day is a different day. Don't ever put yourself down and think that you can't do a particular role. I came into this role at 50 years of age. I never thought I'd get a job like this. My name's Andrew Newby. I'm an airfield controller and I've worked at Gatwick for seven years. So my particular role today is wildlife hazard management. Wildlife control is something that we carry out at Gatwick 24 hours a day, seven days a week. My name is Alan Napier and I'm an airfield operations controller. So we just completed one of our four runway inspections that we do on a daily basis. We conduct these runway inspections to check for any damage to the surface of the runway, any issues with the light fittings or any debris that we might find on the runway, either be rubbish or bird carcasses or animal carcasses. Good morning, I'm Nick Bundy. I'm airside operations controller here at Gatwick. There really is no typical day. We respond to a lot of things on the airfield. It could be a vehicle crash, could be a runway inspection, could be a marshalling job. So no two days are really the same here. We have a really strict regime in controlling the wildlife within the confines of the airfield. Areas of particular interest outside of the airfield are the approach to the airfield for aircraft that are landing and the climate, that's aircraft that are departing. Any birds that are flying across those zones are of particular interest to us. We carry out at least four inspections of the runway here every day and we do two additional inspections of the runway at night. During this morning's inspection we noticed what could have been a loose light fitting so my colleague stopped the vehicle and I got out to investigate. Luckily it wasn't loose but the implications of having a loose light fitting would be that we might have to shut the runway and have it repaired. We have four different means of dispersing uh, birds on the airfield. We have the actual vehicle itself, our presence, and we have the pyrotechnic and we also have two uh, guns, a shotgun and a .17 rim fire rifle which we use for culling purposes as and when we need to. So at Gatwick we normally park aircraft using electronic aids for the pilots to be able to park themselves. There are certain stands that don't have those electronic aids so we need to then marshal them. I've been at the airport for about 10 years now. Before that I spent my time in the motor trade and in sales and sales management looking for something a little bit more stable with more of a challenge so I moved up to the airport and spent some time within a handling agent and then whilst doing that job I learnt about this role and that was a lot of extra time both studying what they do, spending time shadowing the guys to be in a good position so if a job became available I was best placed to take it. 
So the skills you need to be an airfield operations controller is you need to be calm, level-headed, be able to work well under pressure, but the most important thing is you need to have a good sense of humour. Within this job you, you spend quite a lot of the time working on your own, so you need to be able to turn up and make a decision and stick to it. We use various tools available at our disposal, they're both IT based and we take measurements, we look at uh, the dimensions of planes. Although it was a long time ago, I'm still using my math skills today. If you're looking to move into airfield operations, uh, I think a good starting point would be to look at some of the CAA publications, which will give you an overview of um, how an airfield runs. The training for marshalling takes place in a classroom and we also do on-job training out on the airfield. If anybody is uh, looking to pursue this role, I would highly recommend it. It's very exciting and you just have to have the determination to see a job through.